In this video presented by www.free-academy.com, we are going to prove that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x equals 1. To do this, we need to know a very, very, very important identity, which will come up all the time in mathematics, so you might as well start remembering it now. And the identity is that as x, the absolute value of x is much much less than 1, which means it's about 0, or x is about 0, then the sine of x can be approximated as x. For those of you who are, uh, have seen this before, and don't be surprised if you haven't, sine of x can be expanded as x plus x to the third over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial and so on. If you add up all these terms in this infinite series you'll get sine of x. But either way when your x is very close to zero sine of x can, is pretty much just x. And this kind of makes sense. Take a look at your sine curve. It's a wave and when you zoom in about the origin This is pretty close to just the line x. So that's the approximation. As the absolute value of x is much, much less than 1, you can say that sine of x just equals x. And we use this in the proof of this limit here. And this is actually particularly convenient because we're finding the limit as x approaches 0. So as you get closer to 0, this approximation becomes more and more accurate. So by substituting this approximation, you get the limit as sine of x over x equals the limit as x over x. Which, of course, x over x cancels and becomes just 1. And the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 equals 1. And there's your proof.